Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to easily wash your weighted blanket without damaging it and drying it as well. You may have a weighted blanket that has a duvet cover like this, or you may just have a weighted blanket. I'll also talk about how to remove any stains, so this video is for you. First and foremost, depending upon what sort of weighted blanket you have, you always want to be sure to check the manufacturer's tag. It, it should have something on there. There is a tag both on the blanket itself here, and there's also a tag here on this duvet cover. If you do not have a duvet cover, I highly recommend getting one maybe on Amazon because it's going to save you a ton of time in washing it. Now, each weighted blanket has a different weight distribution. A certain amount of weight so you want to check with your washing machine manufacturer how much weight it can contain if you are just washing the duvet cover this isn't as big of a concern because it's not heavy like the weighted blanket but you want to make sure generally i would not exceed around 10 pounds in your washing machine now most weighted blankets are made of a combination of things it could be micro glass beads it could be plastic poly pellets a rice or millet and it could be steel shot beads the most common are the micro glass beads or the plastic poly pellets as you can see here this one has 85 percent glass beads big rule of thumb here you want to wash it on cold water you do not want to use any sort of fabric softener so this i would not be using and you want to use some sort of I am not sponsored by Tide, some sort of gentle detergent and run it on a gentle cycle. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and take the blanket out of the duvet cover. I am not gonna wash the actual blanket itself because it's relatively clean being housed in this. Now I've separated the duvet cover from the weighted blanket itself and I wanted to show you something with this duvet cover. It has these ties that correspond with the weighted blanket, which is really nice. That way it's not all leaning to one side. I don't know if you've had a duvet cover on your bed. It can be really annoying to get it evenly distributed within the duvet cover, but this is really nice. These were all around the cover, but here's the cover and here's the manufacturer tag. And again, it says what's in the shell, the lining and the fill. So if you have stains on either of these things, my recommendation would be just to use some warm water, a little bit of Dawn dish soap, get yourself a cleaning toothbrush and rub out that stain. If you find your stain is not coming out, I have an entire stain removal playlist for all things in the description box below. So make sure that you check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this blanket in here. I can wash it with other things because it is so light. If I were washing the insert here, the actual weighted part of the blanket, I would wash it entirely by itself because of the weight. I'm just going to set that down here. Now, today I will be washing this by itself for demonstration purposes, but otherwise I may throw some other related things that I would wash blankets or sheets in. Sometimes I like to wash my sheets on hot, hot heat, and sometimes I like to wash it on cold, just depending upon how dirty I think they are or what else I'm washing it with. So if you, as you can see here, I'm gonna do a light soil level. I'm gonna do cold water. And again, your buttons are probably gonna look different on your washing machine, but do cold water, some sort of gentle cycle, and then I'm gonna put it on this cold water wash here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. I'm gonna get myself one-handed here, <laughs> this Tide uh, Free and Gentle, which I really love. I go ahead and just pour a little bit in here. A little goes a long way when you're washing laundry. I'll get this washed up and then I'll talk about next how to dry this. Also, if you're just doing the duvet cover like this or how to dry if you're gonna be doing the entire weighted blanket portion as well. One last little point here before I turn this on and it gets super loud. If your insert is made of steel shot beads or rice or millet, those are not machine washable. If you are just getting into the market of what sort of weighted blanket to buy and you're trying to figure out what is the care and maintenance like, I would recommend micro glass beads or plastic poly pellets. Those are probably gonna be the most common anyway, so you shouldn't run into any troubles. Okay, I wanted to show you something really quick here. If you look on the tag of the insert, you can see here, it is three pounds. So I could have washed this all together, but I highly, highly recommend getting a cover for the insert. Now, when you dry it, you wanna do it on a low heat. And again, I would not use any sort of dryer sheets or anything like that. The thing with dryer sheets is there's film on it. So it, it can attach to the fabric here and you just don't want that or the insert. What I would recommend is getting some of these wool dryer balls. I will have them linked in the description box below, but you can put up to like eight of these things in your dryer and I swear by them, they are absolutely awesome. I'm just gonna go ahead and dry this. I would dry it here on a low heat and then I would do a time dry. I would probably do maybe like 30 minutes, see how it does, come in, check it, 
Now, if you are washing, or excuse me, drying the insert here, you wanna lay it flat to dry, if at all possible. Now, I know this is extremely difficult because it is large, but I would do a table, put towels under the table so it doesn't destroy your table, especially if it's wood, I would advise against that. And then flip it every so often to dry it out. Now, I know a lot of people do not have that option, so you could put it over your Let's say you have a clothesline, that would be nice. You could put it over your shower, the top of it, you know, if you need it to dry. The nice thing about this one is it has individual pockets for the insides. If you don't have this, you really need to lay it flat to dry because you do not want all of the pellets or whatever is in on the inside being completely on one side while it's drying and then it's just not gonna do what it needs to do, right? A weighted blanket. We want the weight distributed e evenly. <laughs> All right, in the description box, I have tons of goodies, tons of playlists to help you on your cleaning journey to make it efficient. Also, hit me up on Instagram at Anergene Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits and this cleaning and organizing channel is one way that I do that. All right, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.